All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche head coach Jared Bednar. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Jared. Um, we just saw EJ out there for, for skate. Um, I know, obviously, he has to get his conditioning back, but does this mean that he's fully cleared? And then um, just what does it do for the morale to see him? There's obviously a big difference between having him in the room and on the ice skating with the guys. Yeah, I think all the guys are really excited to see him around. You know, he's been coming around a little bit more lately as he's been feeling better. And, um, you know, to get him back on the ice, I think it's a step in the right direction. Uh, I, I don't know about him being fully cleared or any of that, like to actually play, but he's, he's um, you know, he's just taking it step by step in, in um, his return to play protocol, basically. And, and uh, as he feels better, he's doing more and that's good to see him uh, starting to get healthy again. And um, guys like having him around, obviously he's a lot of fun and a, and a committed teammate. So um, we'll see where it goes, but I, I don't have anything on an imminent return or, or even him joining, uh, you know, our main group for practice. Rick Sadowski, NHL.com. Morning, Jared. Morning. Uh, you're allowed to have over, you're going to probably have over 10,000 fans tonight. It's going to be your biggest crowd really in over a year. Um, I know you've talked about the boost that you get from these, from the fans. Um, especially in a big series like this, what are you expecting? Uh, what kind of energy are you expecting to get from them tonight? I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Yeah, I think uh, even just when we first started putting fans in, 4,000 fans seemed like a world of difference. We went to 7,000, it was even better. And now going to 10,000, I expect the energy level in the building to be up. It's a big series against a real good hockey team. And I heard they're selling out their building uh, for game three. So... Um, it, it'll be it's a lot of fun for our guys playing in front of fans again and 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 the hostility in the way rink is is great I think it's something that you want to deal with and it's why you play and then I think uh, at home it's even better because it's our fans cheering us on we love playing here at ball in front of them and putting on a show and um, you know we're just excited to be able to do it Peter Baugh the athletic yeah Jared are you able to say if Sam Baranto will be in the lineup tonight no nope. No, you can't I, I, say. I won't say. I can say. I won't say, though. Any other questions for Jared? All right. Thank you, Jared. All right. Thank you. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche forward, Pierre Edward Belmar. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Pierre. I know you um, weren't on the ice for morning skate today, but I, I, what does it mean to you guys to have Eric Johnson back out there, even if he's not necessarily close to playing, but just for a morale boost to kind of have him back out there skating? Uh, well, it's really fun, obviously. Like, it's a big part of our team, and he's been away for a while. And just having his, you know, attitude in the locker room and, and being there to be able to talk to him, uh, it's like you know one of those pieces that you are you feel like you're missing in the locker room. So it's just fun to have him there, even if he's not uh, close to play. It doesn't matter. It's good to see him. Ron Knabenbauer, Avalanche.com. Hey Pierre, I know you loved your time in Vegas and have a lot of great friends still on that team. But to be playing Vegas now in the playoffs with a chance to get to the Western or the Conference Finals, how much of a motivation is it for you to in this series? Um. You know what? I don't think it's an extra motivation. It's uh, ground two of the playoff. At this point, I don't really care who, who, who we're playing against. I just want the team to perform well and want us to 
to go good on good on game one. Um, I'm not really thinking about the crust on the other side of the um, of the rink. I just want to win the game, really. Pat Graham, Associated Press. Hey, Pierre, thanks for taking the time on this morning. Yeah. Um, hey, so not all players make a successful transition from player to front office like Joe Sackett has. I guess, how beneficial is it to have a GM who understands the game on his level? And what do you, what do you know about him growing up? Uh, not much. Obviously, like, I mean, the memories I had being a French hockey player and not being able to see a lot of hockey, to be honest, it was more like, you know, the TV games and like fighting with my brother, who's going to get Joe Sakic and stuff like this. <laughs> it was more about that um, and all those top players. So not a lot I knew about him before I got here. Uh, when I got here, though, I started to, you know, you get to talk and um, just a smart mind and the way he's creating this team and the way he's working with the players on an everyday basis. It's, it's kind of what you want about a GM. Both our GM uh, and Aston GMs are really close to us and, to make you feel comfortable, so you want to give everything you you have for the team. Peter Baugh, the Athletic. Yeah, Pierre. I guess what do you think you guys need to do well as a fourth line in this series against a, a good, obviously a really good opponent and a physical team in Vegas? Um, I think we just have to to be kind of a a system anchor to make sure that you know whatever happened in the moment, whatever momentum changes that the coach can trust us rely on us to just you know bring us out there do the work and maybe get some air for our top guys uh, so not really overthinking it go out there play as hard as we can and and make sure we're we're, we're smart on the ice Pat Graham Associated Press hey Piero what is 10,000 fans gonna feel like I mean I know that you guys had seven seven fifty but what's 10,000 gonna feel like I mean, I'm, I'm actually worried. Seven and a half felt like 15. So what is 10 going to feel like? Uh, that was, it was, it's been amazing. You know, like I said before, um, not having fans after the long quarantine during the bubble, you were kind of okay with it because it was playoff. And then, then during the season restart, you haven't seen fans in almost a year. So you're like, okay. And then a little bit, a little bit when fans show up, you're like, okay, I don't want to play ever again without them. Um, this is the game. This is the game I love makes everything so much better, so much tastier. All right, thank you, Pierre. My pleasure.